Hello world and welcome back to Meg's Minutes. So today I'm going to be bringing you along with me so that you can see what it's like to have a day off as a teacher. Don't worry, it's just like everybody else's day, but for some odd reason my students seem to think that I have no life, no life, no life. Like I don't live like everybody else. So I'm going to show them because frequently when I see them out in public, they would be like, hey, Miss Williams, what you doing here? I'd be like, hmm, what are you doing here? They're like, oh, I'm out here grocery shopping. Really? We're at the same store. Wonder if that's what I could be doing too. <laughs> i tell you what. Anyway, but just as I think I'm going to have a nice relaxing day off, just remembered, oh, I have three beautiful, wonderful girls, and they definitely keep me busy, so... Although most of it's kind of relaxing and just going through what I normally go through in my typical day off, uh, I still don't get a complete day off because, hey, i got my girls to take care of and I happily do it. Anyway, uh, stay tuned to see what my day is like. Let's go. I do not want to get up. So, I'm pretty sure that my kids are still asleep because it is 11.50 in the morning and my house is super duper quiet, which is extremely abnormal, having three girls. I guess they must have stayed up later than I did, but right now, it's time for me to brush and whiten my teeth. Gotta whiten my teeth because I like to drink coffee. I drink coffee almost every single day. Starbucks. Horrible. Horrible addicted to have. Addic horrible. Horrible addictive habit to have. But hey, gotta keep these whites pearly. Oh! Oh! It's so cold out here! And it's wet and raining, and what am I thinking? I gotta go get my Starbucks. Oh, it's not even like raining, raining. It's like misty raining. <laughs> you would think I would be used to this because I was born and raised in Minnesota, but after living in the South for six plus years, I guess I'm no longer immune, but here I go on my way to one of my favorite spots to get coffee. Well, that's where I'm trying to go, but is it bad that I don't feel like getting out the car because it's too cold and it's raining out? You see the drops accumulating on my car. Ugh. But. I already done left the house. Might as well go in now. Okay, so I got my coffee. I decided to go with a black and white today. Uh, and, excuse the straw. I did say I was trying to whiten my teeth and uh, part of that is trying to keep my teeth white is drinking through the straw. But uh, also, when I go to Starbucks, I actually have a cup that I call my bling bling cup. I'll show it to y'all later when I get home. But uh, I like to get a cup of water from Starbucks because they have really good filtered water. Uh, and part of the reason why they have good filtered water is because as part of their philosophy, they believe that uh, one of the good things about making great coffee is starting with uh, good ingredients, which includes filtered water. So I always like going there to get my uh, ice and water in the morning because I am like water bougie and there's certain waters that I can't drink. Not all water tastes the same to me. You know, some people be like, oh, all water tastes the same and I don't mind drinking tap water. And I mean, everybody's different, but um, I consider myself water bougie. It is what it is. There's only a couple of types of water that I actually like drinking. Uh, comment below if y'all are water bougie too and what uh, types of water that y'all like to drink. 
So now I'm about to go to grab something to eat. Um, I actually eat at this place so much I have like a free coupon um, for lunch and I'm so looking forward to it. I'll show you guys when we get there. So I am definitely feeling wide awake now that I got my coffee. Horrible addiction at least. I don't smoke cigarettes or anything else or have any other bad addictions. So I guess this is one I can live with. Even though I am trying to kick that addiction too. But uh, while we're sitting here in the car, warm again, regretting about to get out. Uh, this is the place that I was telling you about. Chazu's Kitchen. Uh, they consider themselves an Asian fusion. Uh, I guess similar to what we call uh, Tex-Mex. And it's really awesome like it's fresh ingredients uh the food is like extremely good there um yeah so if you're looking for something healthy and you're in the uh dfw area you might want to check out chazu's kitchen why don't we head in okay so here i am at chazu's kitchen look at how cute this place looks in the background i got a tv up there they're usually really, really quick, so I should be getting my food here in, I don't know, less than five minutes. They don't have like a drive-through or anything, like you gotta get out and walk in, but they're, they're always super duper friendly and uh, they're always super duper quick. And they're usually pretty good about getting my orders right too. It's only been one or two occasions where it's been off and it's, it's not that bad. I go to McDonald's sometimes and seems like every single time I go to McDonald's they messing my order up. Uh, about to go home and eat this good stuff. Okay, so here's my bling bling cup full with water. Uh, I actually used to have like thermoses that kept my water cold uh, but I always forgot to drink them like I set them on my desk and I'd always forget to drink them but for some odd reason this attracts my attention I don't have to open nothing I could just drink through the straw so I tend to tell them give me a lot of ice so I can keep my stuff cold anyway next we have uh, what I got for lunch at Chazu's kitchen uh, they sell a lot of stuff they do like wraps and stuff uh, but I like because their ingredients are so fresh, I like to get the uh, veggie, uh, the veggie bowl, the veggie blend bowl, and then you can add like these other extra ingredients. I got like kale and carrots. Uh, this is beef bulgogi right here. Uh, I like to have a side of rice to go with it. That's what this is, um, but it doesn't go. It doesn't typically come with it per se if you get the veggie blend if you get the wrap I think you could add rice to it but um, and then it comes with a sauce um, I like to eat the chazu sauce and then I also like to add hot sauce to mine so I'll put like the hot sauce on and then the chazu sauce is kind of like sweet and so I'll put the hot sauce on add my chazu sauce put some rice in there and enjoy so that's what I'm getting ready to do and go watch go relax and watch some criminal minds I'm sure you can hear my kids in the background everybody well one mostly everybody's up one still asleep but it's still actually pretty pretty calm for them to be awake they're not very loud just yet so now I'm about to relax eat my food uh, watch some Netflix this is what I typically do watch Netflix in my room cuz my girls tend to monopolize the living room we only have one TV in the house and uh, I typically let them watch it since they're more into cable than I am so anyway uh, yeah that's pretty gross I probably shouldn't be eating this while eating food I'm gonna watch it anyway though cuz hey it's what I do and it's time for me to do hair. So I got to take all this down, wash, and then eventually rebraid. So here we go. And here's all the hair unbraided. And now it's time for a wash. 
Well, here I am back out in the cold because now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna cook for dinner. And of course, gotta go to the store to do that. So off I go to Wally World, AKA Walmart. All right, and what did I get from Walmart? Some water, cause we go through a lot of water. They didn't really, I usually get the two and a half liter jugs, but they didn't have it. So I'm gonna settle for that. Uh, some oatmeal for breakfast, some protein bars for a uh, snack. <laughs> Got some milk, some chicken for dinner. Uh, the milk actually, I really went to Walmart just to get milk because I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. And then I was like, ah, we need some vegetables mixed in there. So got some frozen green beans and I'm going to put some butter and salt on. And I guess these these two will be for later. Oh, well, time for me to get to work. Thank you guys for joining me on my day in the life of uh, a teacher on break. Uh, sorry it wasn't all that exciting, but hey, that's what happens when I actually get some downtime. I get a chance to relax and just lay back, you know, hang out around the house, especially when it's cold, windy, and rainy outside. Um, but I already know, like, but I already know, like, but I already know. My life gets super hectic come springtime. Uh, so I'm going to be hitting the ground running come next week. I'll be coaching basketball, track, and then spring's always a busy time for me because my twins like to play soccer and I got one who wants to do track. So we're going to be splitting time between their soccer and track and me coaching track and me coaching basketball. And it's just going to be crazy and be all over the place. And maybe I'll get a chance to film one of those day in the life of um, but thank you for joining me. Um, if you'd like me to do more of these, just let me know down below. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.